Will paternity leave lower the productivity of workers in Singapore? That was one question raised at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy's 8th anniversary public lecture on Friday. This comes after Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong expressed his willingness to legislate paternity leave during his National Day rally speech last month. I always like to clarify that we shouldn't look at productivity as adding more hours or more inputs. You know, the economic definition of productivity is not just about adding more labour hours or capital. It is also about getting more out of the same amount of inputs or the time. That is real productivity growth down there. So I'm not sure that we will necessarily have a conflict between paternity leave and uh, productivity. Uh, if we make that argument, I suppose then that issue would also affect maternity leave. But <laughs> we don't seem to make that argument. <laughs> During the 15-minute Q&A session moderated by Professor Kisho Mabubani, Mr Chan answered questions on topics like balancing meritocracy and building an inclusive society, as well as gathering feedback through social media. Discussing the challenges faced by the social services sector in Singapore, Mr Chan expressed his thoughts about Singapore's ageing population. First, I don't think we should see the ageing as a problem. For many, the ageing issue can also be an opportunity. I think if you look at the matured economies like Japan, they look at the they don't call it a silver tsunami. You know, silver tsunami tsunamis seems to connote a disaster, right? But actually, the the silver economy in Japan is actually thriving, right? But that mindset change is very important. You know, how do we look at our older people, and what do you and how do you define old people? In the past, when you talk about old people. You think about a guy who is uh, 50, 60 years old, right? Yeah, my age. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but <Old> today, <laughs> today, when you talk about old people in Singapore, they are about 80, 90 years old. So the whole thing has changed. And the way we see old people cannot be the way we see old people in the past. For more on the challenges Singaporeans face as a society, watch the following clips for highlights of the Q&A session with Mr Chan.